We're at Wabanzi Valley for an IHSA Boys Tennis Sectional as the host Warriors and Niqua Valley are among the top contenders. The Wildcats enter off a second straight DVC title and now look to win a fourth straight sectional championship. We begin the day with our first single semifinal between Niqua's Andy Yu and West Aurora's Josh Hartman. The Wildcat enters after beating Alan Mendoza of East Aurora in the quarters, while the Blackhawk took down Wabanzi's Simonian Tile. After a long rally, Yu charges the net and that allows Hartman to send one past them for the points. The Blackhawk wins set one 6-4. Yu responds in the second set as he serves in. Hartman hits it deep into the corner, but the Wildcat gets it back across. He eventually hits and charges towards the net, where he hammers it down to win the second set 6-4. Looking to close it out now, Yu goes back and forth with Hartman a few times before once again approaching the net. His hit forces the Blackhawk to hit one too strong, and Yu wins the third set 6-0 to advance to the singles final. Over to the other singles semifinal with Wabanzi's Ravanth Kothapali playing Oswego East Pranav Kanan. The Warrior serves in and heads right to the nets where it pays off. Kanan overhits one and Kothapali takes set one 7-5. Kanan now gets the serve in as he works the ball around both sides of the court. Kothapali comes to the net and that allows Kanan to hit it down the line for the points. Kothapali, however, wins the semifinal match by taking the second set 6-2 and will now face Andy Yu in the final. Let's get to the doubles action between Wabanzi's top pair of Ishan Suresh Kumar and Sahan Tirukovalaru against Niqua's two doubles duo of Rudy Shen and Adi Banzel. We go right to the third set after Dub V won the first 6-2 and Niqua the second 6-3. The Wildcats serve in and Tirukovalaru slowly creeps to the net. He then hammers the next one down for the points. Niqua looking to stay alive now as Shen is able to put the perfect amount of power and precision on this shot for the points. This one heads to a tiebreaker. Suresh Kumar goes back and forth with Bonzel here before switching it up and sending it right down the line past Shen for the points. The Warriors take the tiebreaker 7-5 and will play Niqua's top doubles of Johnny Mo and Ricky Kim in the final. Let's go to the singles championship between Kothapali and Yu. The Wildcat gets a spark early on by placing this one in the right spot for the point. Kothapali responds right back on this return as he powers it up for a missile past the Wildcat. The Warrior takes set one, 6-3. The Wildcat serves in as the two go back and forth. Yu heads up and Kothapali sends it right over his head, but look at the composure from Yu. The Wildcat does an excellent job on this hit as it drops down for the point. The Warrior is looking to close it out now and he plays aggressively towards the net. He finishes it off with a heavy hitting smash and wins the second set 6-4 to be crowned the sectional champion. After losing just one game in the opening rounds, Niqua's top doubles of Johnny Mo and Ricky Kim take on Suresh Kumar and Tiroku Valaru of Wabanzi. Mo is hoping to win a third sectional title in four years, but this would be his first in doubles. In the opening set, Mo returns before running towards the nets to keep the rally going. The Warriors continue to attack him, but Mo is ready for it. He somehow gets this ball over the net to drop down for a point. The Wildcats dominate this first set 6-0. The Warriors, however, lock in here for the second set. Suresh Kumar serves and goes back and forth with Mo before sending one the other way past Kim for the point. The freshman serves again as everyone gets involved for this rally. The Warriors are able to get a point here and force a second set tiebreaker. Kim returns this serve with perfection as it gets called in. 
The Wildcats win the doubles sectional championship by taking the second set 7-5. Mo wins yet another sectional championship as the Wildcats win a four straight sectional plaque. They get past Wabanzi by just two points as everyone playing today will compete at the IHSA state tournament. It means a lot. It's definitely an emotional victory. Uh, traditionally, I'm a USDA player. Uh, I have nine years of tennis experience and it feels great to be on a team just because like I feel like it's different from USDA where it's just like me and my family out supporting me. I think first set we were playing how we wanted to play. We went in strong but second set we just started to get a bit lazy and then Johnny and I started to notice that and it's just staying consistent the entire match and putting in 100% effort the whole time and it's, I'm glad we caught on to that before they got another set. So. Yeah, I started seeing he was getting tired, he started cramping. And I was like, I can't really let this opportunity go because if it goes three sets, we're both going to be really tired. And so I was just like, I need to hold my serve. I just need to get as many returns as I can. And that kind of just got me to win the match. Feeling pretty good. Yeah, that was like my goal for this season, to do good in uh, conference sectionals and uh, qualify for state. And, feels pretty good yeah I mean for me personally I've been riding the bench for the past three years so it's it's really exciting to even like play at sectionals and then you know making the state that's a, that's a chair on the top it's even better yeah I, I played uh, three doubles last year with our, our Ricky at one and we had a really great one during the season and finished out strong in the championship and I'm really glad that this year I can go one step further and make now go into state in our sectional lineup